For the month of April, we turned to an old familiar hymn for inspiration, the one with the line, I once was lost, but now I'm found. Our stories in this issue explore a lost and found motif, starting in Greensboro with the discovery of two old dusty cardboard boxes hidden away in the downtown public library. Turns out these boxes held the etchings of landmarks around North Carolina, all drawn by a prominent American artist who had visited our state in the 40s and 50s. Then we spend time with Billy Welch, a woodworker living in the Snowbird community of the Kuala Boundary. As a member of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians, Welch teaches traditional Cherokee carving, an art that's in danger of being lost, and is helping children find their voice with the Cherokee language. It's a powerful story of lost and found that I don't think you'll forget. We're also combing Topsail Island in search of shark's teeth lost and found, and we're setting out for a treasure hunt in the Triangle through the world of estate sales. And in celebration of the month of April and Easter, we're shining a light on our state's beautiful historic churches, open to all for reflection and peace. We'll hike to the little Cataloochee Church in the Smokies, gaze at the art inside the churches of the frescoes in West Jefferson and Glendale Springs, and find ourselves on the peaceful grounds of St. Anne's Chapel at Oak Grove Retreat in Tarboro. You're gonna love this beautiful spring edition. Look for the April issue on newsstands now.